Hey guys, what's up? This is Ziploc Rules 2013, and tonight I'm bringing you all a very simple tutorial for uh, Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. This is the uh, uh, Game Boy Color port of the NES Mario 1, and uh, I'm going to show you all how you can unlock Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels within Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. It's actually really cool. It's surprisingly simple. Now I'm going to be doing a Let's Play of this game. A very short one very soon and I'm actually gonna be playing through both uh, Mario 1 and the lost levels so just <clears throat> just to kind of let you know how you can actually play the lost levels on your copy of Mario Bros Deluxe I'm gonna give you all this very simple tutorial showing you how to do that okay so if you've already beaten the game by the way uh, just from the file select menu go to level 5-1 and uh, skip what I'm doing right now but for the rest of you guys what you're gonna want to do is take the very simple uh, level or world warp the warp zone and go all the way to world 4 okay so now from world 4-2 you're going to take the second world warp um, again you're gonna skip right over the finish line or the uh, the ending pipe there and go right to world 5 your only option and here is where the magic happens. So you're going to want to go ahead and get hit right here. But what you're going to want to do is kill that Koopa shell. And uh, I, I did that wrong. But uh, what you're going to do here is I'll show you. You're going to want to go ahead and kill this Koopa. Run along with this shell. You're going to get a 1-up and then you want to just die. And you can do this indefinitely. But just go ahead and do that until you have 300,000 points. Okay, there we go. We have 300,000 points now. And uh, so be careful not to die to this Koopa too many times before you get the one up. Because if you get a game over ahead of time, your score resets. But once you get 300,000, you're going to want to get a game over, actually. And uh, name entry, don't worry about that. But uh, <clears throat> you're going to take first place on the ranking leaderboard. And uh, your overall goal is literally just to beat Luigi's 300,000 point score. And once you do that, do not continue, do save, and right here you're going to have this Luigi icon. And when you click on that, it will take you to Super Mario Bros. for Super Players. And that is basically just Super Mario Bros. The Lost Level, Lost Levels, Japan's Mario 2 that we never got in America. And uh, it is basically um, the closest thing you're going to get to the original Lost Levels on a handheld. And uh, honestly, I think this is really cool. Um, oh yeah, the Poison Mushroom has actually got an actual design to it. It actually looks like a Poison Mushroom instead of a normal mushroom with a bunch of black blobs on it now this koopa okay normally this uh paratroopa would actually just kind of roam around in that little tunnel way i was standing in so his lines his patterns are a little messed up but other than a few minor differences and that stuff they probably couldn't really fix but um other than that this is literally just oh my god <laughs> This is Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels on a Game Boy Color, and it is actually pretty damn cool. I didn't know about this trick until literally just recently. I think it was within the last couple of months when I finally rebought this game and I found out that you could unlock Mario 2 on it. Not our Mario 2, but the Japanese one. And uh, like I said, I will be playing through both Mario 1 and this game during my Let's Play. So that's kind of why I'm showing this off, just so you know how to unlock it yourself. And so I don't get 20,000 comments asking me how the hell I did it in <laughs> when I finally do play it. Now, um, it's a lot more, if you do die, it resets from the world you were at. So the same way that Mario 1 works in this game. And, um, yeah, if you've played the Lost Levels, you pretty much know exactly what to, ex what to expect. Now it is screen crunched a bit. Yeah, it's screen crunched. Nothing you can really do to get around that. I mean, it was a Game Boy Color. I mean, what the hell were you going to do? But, uh, yeah, 
This is basically just the Lost Levels, the Famicom version, not the All-Stars version, on a handheld. And I think this is the only time that that ever was a thing. And so if you can do that... Oh crap, I didn't jump. Dang it, I didn't jump. Wait, can I go back? Okay, yeah, you can take the level warp there. It only lets you warp to World 2, but you can do that. I totally screwed it up. But, uh, yeah, that is a thing. And, uh, that's pretty much that. So, basically, this is going to be a placeholder LP between when I finish Monkey Ball Jr. and Jungle Beat and, uh, <clears throat> when I finally have my 3DS capture card. Which is going to take a bit longer than normal, because, uh, stuff, some paperwork didn't exactly, uh, get printed out yet. So it's going to take a little bit longer, but nothing I can really do about that. But this will be the placeholder LP in the meantime, but that is not the point of this video. This was just a very quick tutorial on how to unlock Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels and Super Mario Bros. Deluxe for the Game Boy Color. Now, once you have this unlocked, it does stay on your cartridge as long as you have a working battery. So, my, my battery is long dead. This one, <laughs> I bought it just blindly off eBay, so it ended up just being a dead battery. So, I'll have to unlock this <laughs> separately every time I want to play it, but as long as you have a working copy of the game with a working battery, you can come back whenever you want to play either Mario 1 or The Lost Levels. And so, I hope you all found this useful. If you have this game and you don't already have The Lost Levels unlocked, I would highly suggest you go ahead and unlock it. And uh, that's that. So I'm going to see you guys all tomorrow for another Jungle Beat video. Take care. Peace.